Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so a couple of y'all uh, have seen already that um, I went ahead and started the second channel. All right, so wow, more work, right? It's all good though. So I told you all before I had a second channel like years ago. I think it started in 20, I think it said 18 or 17. I don't even remember. And um, I was supposed to do a second channel. It was a lot of work. I started doing Instagram as well. So it just kind of got overwhelming. I just never did it. So I just kept everything here on one channel where it was just everything, all things me. Well, I wanted to go ahead and split things up for 2022. Try something new. See how it goes. If you hear a lot of screaming, girl, so we're outside the window. I, I'm sorry. You hear it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, so I want to try something new for 2022. So I started the second channel, and I've already done my upload for this year. Um, the upload I did is this one right here. If you didn't see it, I'll link it down below so you can click and watch that next. And um, if you don't see it down below, it is in my community tab. I did do an announcement. So if you are following me and you are subscribed, then you should have already clicked the bell so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload or each and every time I make a post in the community tab, okay? I'm gonna figure out how to do the short videos too so I can insert a short um, and you can see to know where to go click so I can promote that channel as well. So on that channel will be more of like fragrance hauls, all things like, um, I don't know, everything that smells good and feel good, right? So that'll be your bath and body products. That would be all the hair videos. That would be like clothing and accessory shoes and whatnot, right? I still do have a few obligations that I need to post on this channel because in the agreement, it was for this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that true over here. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and did that. So this channel would be more like cooking cleaning organizing the garden which i've already started free that's what this video is about today is getting ready for spring and um yeah just all things like home decor and all that good stuff right so if you're interested in that then stay tuned for this channel if you're interested if you're interested in all things fabulous fashion smell goods feel goods all right and just vlogs just me hanging out vlogging um, when I go live, all that good stuff, head on over to the other channel. I'll put it here and I'll put the link down below as well. So that way you can go ahead and subscribe and hit that uh, bell as well. So you'll be notified every time I do an upload over there. I'm going to try to stay consistent with uploading. So want to be here and then maybe the next day want to be there. That way they're not on the same day, but they're still consistently videos going up for you all. It won't be every day though. I told y'all four to five days a week. We working on it for you. All right, so we're going to stay, stay tuned with that. So my Instagram page, which is Helen H. Beauty, will coincide with that um, YouTube. And the one is H2 Natural Beauty, which is more cooking, um, cleaning. Well, I would say cooking, cleaning, home organization, that kind of stuff. Little finds and affordable finds I find from the home will definitely be linked in uh, along with this channel. So, yeah. Now, I do have... Something that was sent to me recently that I do want to share with you all on this channel. And I'm going to share it on that channel as well with more, more mod shots and more um, like spring-like items as spring comes in. I am waiting for an order to come in. I kind of want to try with these items. So, but I'm going to share them with you now since they came in. Okay, and then we're going to get to this Dollar Tree haul. <sighs> Who else is ready for gardening and like ready for spring and all things white and cream and, and green and pink flowers? And I'm just saying, it. Okay. All right, so I did receive this package. Girl, I already opened up one, but let me open up the one I hadn't opened all the way. That way you can see what the package looked like. So it came like this. It came wrapped up like this little, I already took this off, I know. It says, step into conscious comfort, and this is stylish and sustainable. So these uh, particular items, I'm sure you'll be are sustainable, right? They're made, they're made from uh, like recyclable materials. So this is, the name right here. I'm going to put it at the bottom. I don't want to butcher it. But let me show you how this opens. It says, uh, made from recyclable materials right here on the box. I like this. Made like this. It says, thank you for helping our ocean and recycling six plastic water bottles, preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming marine life. So for every like pair of shoes you get, right? So that's two shoes, right? You are... Um, there's like six 
reusable bottles made it within this product. I'm just saying, girl. Did I just tell y'all what to do better? Did I just tell y'all that? So it came like this. I haven't opened these up. I was able to choose the shoes, but I haven't seen these. I only saw them on the website. So we're going to see these together. I'm kind of nervous, girl. It says stylish, sustainable. Okay, it's just some more information. I will link them down below, though. Definitely. So this is what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> they got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, they have a, a measuring tape for you to measure like your size too in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know my inches on my foot though. Look at these. <gasps> All right, look at these. How cute are these for spring? Y'all see this? I saw these and I was like, oh, I want those. I just want the colors. They had some other colors on the site, but I thought this would be so neat. So like if you wanted to wear these for like spring or for fall, they would go for either one, right? Because you got the brown, then you got the cream color. I thought these would be perfect. So I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna insert some shots here. But I like everything that has that material that's almost like um, you don't need a, a sock. I told y'all that before. It's some of our men socks, y'all. So it has this on the insert right here. All right, so inside the shoe here, it's like this stretchy, the tongue is like, like stretchy. I don't know if you can see that. It almost reminds me of like sweater material, like a light spring like sweater. And they're like super duper light. So that's pretty cool. So like I said, try these on. It's just so cool to get stuff like this and, um, and no, they was made from recyclable material. Like these kind of things actually um, can be made shoes. Vivaya, Vivaya. I have a size 39. Now I wear a um, eight and a half shoe. These shoes fit me perfect. So I would say like the heel part. Um, so my foot is kind of narrow, right? So they fit me perfect with a little wiggle room, right? It's not a half size wiggle room, more like a little bit over four. So if you wear eight and a half and you have like the average size foot, like um, I would say 39 is fine, but make sure you measure your foot because um, that's what they asked me to do. Make sure I measure and then everything's on the website as well that you can look at before you decide to buy these. But these are so light, like, like really light. How cool are these? These are so freaking cool. So yeah, I'll definitely be rocking these and then you'll see these on the other channel too uh, when I... Um, show you like some outfits with these i think you'll appreciate that for sure because you can wear those with, like dresses those little cute skater dresses y'all know i like to wear so here is the other pair i'm excited about so this one ooh. okay let's open these up these are so cute i've been wanting some of these so these also say uh made with six water bottles right our insoles are made of natural art artisanal Artis Artemisia. Artemisia. What? Which is an herb which may cause allergic reactions. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. No waste, just misplaced treasure. You decide what it is. You decide what it's going to be when it um when you upcycle your box. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we definitely will recycle the box in the garden for sure. But I also chose these. I thought these were really cute, natural, like, um, almost remind me of linen. Like, for those cute little linen outfits or whatever this summer. I don't have any shoes this color. And I said this year I wanted, like, some white ones or some cream color, like, mules. And I thought these would be perfect, um, for sure. Look at the inside. So, look at the inside. You see this? But then look at the inside. You see this material right here? It's like a really soft, like... Um, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. It's soft though. Not like, um, almost remind me of a short haired poodle. Like it's real soft. Look at that. Anyway, these are nice. Girl, these are nice. I'm looking. They do. They have all this stuff in here, too. So, make sure you recycle all that, y'all. 
Oh, this is nice. I mean, not, I don't know what this material is, but make sure <laughs> if you order these, you wash your feet before you wear your shoes, girl, because they ain't nothing like having. I hate to see people with shoes like these and the inside be like brown and black, or whatever, girl. So, yeah, these are really cute. Tell me what y'all think. These could definitely be worn in winter, too, because of the material on the inside. And it's almost like a winter cream. I don't know how to describe it, but um, I guess because the, the material reminds me of either sweater or you can translate these to like spring. Yeah, so I'll be definitely wearing these. So let me know what you think about them and the close-ups that I provided for you all. So these also are a size 39. And like I said, I wear a size um, eight and a half. So yeah, you'll see more of uh, my picks and more styling of these shoes on the other channel. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. And um, yeah, and I just want to thank them for sending these shoes to me. I really do appreciate working with them. Um, it's not sponsored, just they, um, they just want me to review the shoes and let them know what I think about it. Once again, everything will be linked down below. Discount codes, all that if they provide me some or everything will be here on the screen as well. So listen, I am so ready for spring, so ready. So I already decided to um, grow more food this year. I decided to go ahead and um, I have a friend of mine who told me not to spend any money at Sam's or Costco on those raised beds. He was like, nope, I'm gonna make you some. I was like, okay, friend, how much is the wood? Because I want two big, huge, like, boxes in this area if i have some video i'll plug it in i want two huge boxes in front of my um beds that's on the ground then i want a few along the wall like the back of the home or whatever and then i'm deciding to do a no dig garden along the fence line on the other side of the fence girl it's just gonna be like a two by two feet you know like a two two and a half foot um out from the fence it's probably going to be like 12 feet to 15 feet long. And we're just going to do a no dig with like boxes and newspapers and whatever. We'll do that project together if you're interested. But, <laughs> but, but, but. So we already talked about the seeds uh, that has been coming through. I'm going to put a link down below of people who, who I like to order seeds from. Um, because I keep getting that question. There's several companies I like to support um, uh, female growers for sure and there are maybe three that i'm gonna link that's callie kim that is the okra lady and that is i think it's seed mail or something like that i can't think of seed mails the seed mail something like that okay and then of course uh baker creek and then of course um there's a few more people on, on etsy you just have to make sure you read the reviews if you choose to you know do that or whatever and then of course girl i do get some from dollar tree normally dollar tree are like project or quick quick um seeds or something dollar tree seeds have actually been purchased or i think this company was sold by to somebody else this year because it's a different seed company on the back same pack y'all but the name is different i noticed that today i did go to um two local dollar trees and film just a little bit while i was in there and i try to put some inserts as we go along we discuss what i'm calling because y'all know i stopped shopping in dollar tree y'all know this but I've noticed that I like to go during like back to springtime when we get ready for our gardening time. So I'm going to run through these real quick are the ones I did pick up um, from them. Now these right here are, um, it's the American Seed Company. But the company that makes them now is Green Garden Products. It used to be, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like some controversy or whatever, but they're not, they're not affiliated. You just read and do your research, but this is who the company is, is now that's uh, providing like these seeds or whatever. And then, um, yeah, whatever, four for a dollar. You can find these for a dollar everywhere else. Now, I bought a couple of morning glories because I'm doing a seed, um, a seeded flower bed raised garden in the front of the house i'm doing two and they're going to be one and that's going to be like a little sofa area and another one and that's like on my porch area so that you know people you know can just get food off the porch if they want to but i want to do like a garden a porch garden and it's mainly like some flowers and it'll be like quick cuttings like what do you call those like radishes and um 
spinach lettuce, that kind of thing, little herbs or whatever. I'm thinking about doing something like that, just for like neighbors and friends. But I'd pick up some Morning Glories because Morning Glories grow really good here for some parent reason. We had a really good, they would, they close up in the evening and in the morning when the sun hits them and they warm up, um, they open up in the morning. It's so pretty. So I got this color to put in the beds in the front. I also picked up a bunch of marigolds. Y'all know I like to plant marigolds around my garden, um, by my cucumbers, by pretty much all my food because they're a deterrent. They keep uh, bugs away and they're just beautiful. So I like these. I picked up, um, I picked up lettuce. Some of this is just, you know, for us to try and play with. They say they're non-GMO. I just don't know about the seeds that well. I did do some research on this company. Uh, because it wasn't controversy and then I see that another company's selling them. I don't know. It's a lot to it, but uh, But they work for me. Okay, and some food is better than no food. Okay, let's talk about that. So I have um, Heirloom variety. I have this lettuce right here. I Have um, some chives which are easy to grow in those little bucket bands in the front some more chives uh, Some kale I may I may not put those in the front. They might just go in like this bin um grow bag i have some radishes these are quick and easy to grow broccoli i'm gonna go ahead and drop some of those asap because they like the cold when they first begin or whatever i have some peppers some hot peppers they're not that hot though see right there on the meter they're not that bad just pick those up because it's four for a buck i got this lettuce too which is harder to clean but this is grand rapids lettuce when it's time to wash and clean it it's just the curly part just makes it harder to clean some more marigolds I picked up some more radishes. These are the longer ones. These are the ones I like to chop and saute and season. And it just tastes like potatoes, girl. Some more marigolds. I need a lot of marigolds. You'll see once everything starts growing. Some turnips. Some lettuce. Some of this stuff is not for now. Some of this stuff might be for later. Oregano. More marigolds because, I mean, once everybody starts buying these seeds, there won't be any. Let's keep it real. Spinach from my box in the front. Cilantro. Basil and some more spinach. All right, so those that's that. Let's keep going. I have quite a bit to share with you all. I don't know how much, how many minutes I have on this. Speaking of seeds, I found these cute little pots. I and mean, mind you, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a long time, so I don't know if this is just new to me. Okay, so I'm going to say they're new because I've never seen them. I've never seen these pots. I've seen something similar, but not this brand. It says Strawberry Grow Kit. These are, um, it says include seed growing um, instructions. So this might be the, the wrong one, but anyway, I picked up this one um, for this pot. Now, y'all know last time we grew strawberries, we couldn't even, they didn't even make it inside the house. <laughs> yeah, I picked up these. These are the ones I was talking about. So these are non-GMO, 100% natural seeds, and these are cherry tomato grow kits. These are cool for your new um, first timers or for kids to do like little projects or whatever. I thought these would be good, especially for kids, like the small kids in school or ones who want just to learn about growing and all that kind of stuff. I thought that would be cool. So how many of those did I get? So for the cherry tomatoes, I picked up two of those. I picked up one basil right here, another one of those non-GMO natural seeds or whatever. I think you just wet the pot, y'all. I think it's just that little squat. Yeah, that's what it is. It's this pot right here. We're going to wet it. It's going to expand. Maybe I'll do that and just put the thing here. It's going to expand. And then here, this is how you see these. These are the seeds. You're just going to lay the seeds on top. So for those of us who keep our seeds, a lot of times we put our seeds on a paper towel to dry like this. But this is actually in between this little little bitty layer. And all you're going to do is sit on there and it's going to um, it's gonna grow, hopefully. So um, I'll go ahead and insert that and show that to you. So I did get two strawberries. I also picked up this little flower kit. I thought this was cool too, to put in the middle of a bucket like they did. And then around it, maybe do like mint or something like that. I don't know, just something. But I did pick up this. They had a couple of these with different... Um, ones like zinnias, like, um, is it poppies or a bunch of different flowers, a couple of boxes. So yeah, I just figured why not try them? I mean, this is what it looks like. It's going to insert this in the middle and water it. So I have a couple of pots out there that I can do that too. thought this would be cool. Actually, I had some along the fence 
now that I've moved my um my red pots, which have like my kumquat, my my <laughs> uh, pink lemonade, um, what else is out there? Guava tree, pear tree, all that's along the fence. And then I have these smaller pots in between them that I plan on planting a lot of flowers so they can bring the bees. And then the, while the bees are there, they can go and pollinate my food. Okay? You got to feed the bees, friend. You just can't think they're going to come along. So I'm going to put this out there on the fence so we'll know the temperature, what's going on. Yeah. It's like 60 some degrees in the house. Child, it's cold in here. I picked up these for my garage because this weekend I was supposed to plant my garage between this weekend and next weekend. Depends on how I feel. I'm only doing things that I just feel like doing. I'm not rushing myself to do anything. Just taking, you know, life as it is and just moving at my own pace. So this is a garden tool holder. And we have plenty of them. They actually hang like on nails or something in the wall. But it's what it looks like. Yeah, so this might last a little while. I can see this probably breaking one day because it's plastic. But it's a heavier plastic. So I end up getting two, I don't know, a couple of these, y'all. Three. Probably should got more because we could hang our um, workout belts and stuff like that on here. The bands. This would be good for workout stuff too, like your jump ropes or whatever. Hmm. Okay, so I did get three of those. I'm about to be crowded by mess in a minute. Um, in this bag, you'll see one of these, but I did pick up two more of these and I picked up the ones that have like that thicker coating on it. I just wanted some for just regular, whatever. Then I have some with the thicker coating for like the stuff that has more thorns on it, like my roses and stuff. But I thought these were cute. That's why I got them. So yeah, Dollar Tree. Picked up these because sometimes I like to cover my garden with the, um, UV cloth that blocks all the sun when Houston gets hot here. Um, so these clips right here, this size that's in the middle normally works on my three fourth inch PVC pipe that I have that's on my beds. So that's why I got these. Cause girl, don't tell them where the other ones are from last year. I don't even feel like looking for them. I just paid a dollar twenty five. Yeah, I picked up these. I thought these were cute too. One is a lizard, and one is a frog just to like twisty tie on um, branches or whatever i just got one look at that that's crazy so i picked up one now i got these pots right here these are my starter pots but i'm gonna do some small okay so this is what i was thinking about doing i have some garden beds last year when i planted marigolds the marigolds grew so big and they just the weeds the not weeds the roots just went everywhere and it was huge i want to contain them so they're either going to be this size and a planter this size at the each corner of my planters in the front where they're contained in here and they only grow so big or i'm gonna get the bigger pots which i'll show you in a minute where they're going to be in sections of the garden so that i can control how big these things get because they got huge like to my knees last year. They were huge. And I had to pull a bunch of them because I was like, well, where's the food if we got none but flour? So that's why I got these for for this size and this size just like some seed starter, um, little pots to just start some some little growths or whatever for like maybe friends and family. So I picked these up. This one has, I don't know how many come in here. Oh, that's quite a bit. They don't even say how many come in the pack. Hmm. Okay, this one got a lot evidently. And then this one has a few, maybe six, I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. So I did pick up this one too. And this, oh yeah, this is one they had too. This is called Tomato Rocket. It says grow 100s, 100s of, well, it probably means hundreds. Grow hundreds of organic tomatoes. It says can grow up to 10 pounds of tomatoes, grow virtually anywhere, anytime. Hand selected premium grade seeds. Perfect for indoor or outdoor. The new way to grow tomatoes, create your own tomato factory. And that's what this one is. So you just put it in the pot, just like that other thing, right? And just water and grow. So come March, we'll drop this and see how it goes. It tells you how to plant it and everything. Hundreds. Hundreds. <laughs> We're going to document this whole journey, so don't worry. All right, so what else we got? We got a lot more, y'all. I picked up these for plants uh, either in my house. I'm not sure. 
I've been wanting these. I wish they had them clear. I don't like this color, but for outside, it wouldn't matter. These are the ones you fill with water, and they just eventually, especially like if you're out of town or something like that, and you want your plants to be watered, you know? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a dollar, though, right? Can't pass it up. So I got two of those. I got some more sticks because I need to label these this year when I'm planting since I plan on planting a lot. My planters in the front, I'm going to do some video and insert it here. <laughs> my planters in the front had this huge like um, section, it's like a chalkboard section, but the marker that came with it, I don't know where I put it after I put it together because y'all know it came in a million pieces, I had to put it together. I got them from Walmart for like 50 bucks a piece, but I went ahead and picked up a marker from Dollar Tree so I can mark on it. You know, I don't know, free for all, you know, come get your veggies, <laughs> whatever. So I picked up that one. I got some zip by bags. So I got to freeze some food for Quest. And I picked up this. I'm going to use this, I think, to mark off or rope off these sections. Um, so I can do like uh, foot garden, foot gardening. Right. So, so I can mark off how many feet I can plant what in this garden that I'm planning on. Um, doing a no dig on over here. So, yeah. I bought that. And then, I don't know how many minutes we've been talking, girl, a lot. Okay. So then I picked up these. I just needed some more of these. I have a um, few of these on my fence that I told you we got from Amazon. And they're just screwed in. And at night, they light up really well. I also have some like these that are bigger that I got from Walmart for like, what is it, $6.97? I think one time it was $4.97. But they're $6.97. And they're my big red pots. And so at night, they light up. And then um, these will go into my flower beds. These are the ones in the front of the house. And I'll just put them in like this. So it'll kind of light up that front part. That's what I'm thinking. I started to buy the whole kit. Oh, girl. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Okay, friend. Uh, is that a battery? Or is it, it's solar, but you said a yellow thing right there, I thought that was a battery. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to, um, oh, girl, that's bright. I'm going to put these in front whenever I do my thing. So I end up getting um, a bag of them, a bag of six. So that's what I picked up for $1.29. So I don't know. Check them out. All right. And then what else I got in this bag? Is that it? Yeah. And then lastly, I picked up all these this year. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so in the front of my yard, I have a bunch of mulch in like this flower bed area. And um, it's kind of hard in the front, like clay almost when I dig down so far. So this year, I'm just going to put these out like in the uh, flower bed and mulch around them. So you don't really see this part. It might see a little bit of the rim sticking up, but this is going to be in the ground. Then I'm going to fill this with really good dirt and nutrients, and then we're going to put marigolds in here. Um, so because marigolds are so pretty y'all they bloom they get so big and that way they can be um, then when I water them I can make sure I'm actually watering them and I'm just gonna put three I think three or four maybe four maybe four I have to put four I gotta see how it is out front but I'm gonna put these in the ground when we do we'll do that together and then we'll put them up with dirt and use them for the marigolds right so let me put the four over here then in the back I have those um flower beds that I told you the marigolds took over. So I'm going to put one of these on each corner of like the flower beds within the bed and then and, um, mulch it around and then fill this with the good dirt too, right? And hummus or whatever or whatever you call it. Um, not hummus, girl. Peat hummus and like um, my compost <clears throat> and then put the flowers in here. Um, so the flowers can, because I'm telling you the flowers, they get to moving. So I have Four more of these, so that should be enough. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Because I wanted to put some on this side too. I wanted to put one, two, three on this side. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, yeah, it's not enough. I'm gonna have to go buy some more. All right, well, she didn't do that right. All right, and then I got three of the four of these. I got four of these to put um, a section in front of the pots that's already there by my seating area outside. I figure I just stack them like this, 
fill them up with some good dirt and throw some flowers in here or throw some like herbs or something. I don't know. Uh, but I just want to try this this year. Last year, um, I think we bust the holes or something on a couple of them, but we're going to try them again this year. These aren't really made to last though. Like they're going to crack on you if you get to moving them around. But um, I just bought some of these, which means I'll probably end up just using these for that flower bed. We'll see. So I'm going to vlog it all. And uh, if you stay tuned to the channel, then you'll see that. So, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Um, and let me know your thoughts on me creating a separate channel. Uh, if you can go over there after you watch this video and just hit subscribe. Uh, I have a video going up on either later today or tomorrow. And it will be um, some fragrances and um some other little fun stuff so you have to go over there to see all right so thank you all for who hopped on yesterday and watched that video i really appreciate y'all i wasn't expecting that many people go over there and watch it um but yeah i want to grow that channel and i want i'm ready to grow that channel <laughs> i am and i want this channel to just be amazing in its own um, unique way. So thank you all again for supporting me. I appreciate you all. 2022 is just, uh, I'm ready for the roller coaster. Okay. I'm ready. I don't want no deep drops though, but I'm ready for all the twists and turns. Okay. I will see you all on the next video. Uh, let me know what you're finding in your Dollar Trees. I had to hit a three that was not in my area. So don't feel bad when you don't come on here to my, I don't have that in mind. He ain't have it in mind either. She had to drive. I drove about 40 minutes away to find some of these items. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. One by me said had them in boxes and asked me not to open the box. Yeah. How about that? So I'm out. Have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.